So this video is about manifesting anything you want. A lot of people get hung up on the details about merging their dreams with reality, mastering the laws of nature, the laws of attraction. They say that outer space is like a vacuum. They say the fourth dimension is like outer space. It's a vacuum. When you go to the gas station, you dismantle the whole lever and figure out all the working parts. And how they work before you pump the gas. Now you just pull the trigger and the gas comes out. And it funnels into the tank. Or when you go to the restaurant. You go back and make sure everybody's making your meal according to the way it's supposed to be made. Washing their hands. No, you just order it. And then you wait for it to come to you. And be served. When we do channeling. Or when we download information. Do we sit within ourselves and grovel about something we need to know? No. We let go of the worry, the whys, the hows. And clear the channel so the vacuum can open. And the message can come through. So we wonder why we're not getting what we want. We just have to let go. And allow the rain to fall. We don't ask why the rain's falling or how it's falling. It just comes. As you can see, my new orb has arrived. This is my favorite little helper. He's my bestie in all the worlds. I even have some pretty cool pictures of him, but Now he's here with me, 24-7, whenever I need him. Telling me what to do. Telling me what I need to know, when I need to know it. Assuring me. That everything's in order and everything's going to be okay. This is my tuition. Tuition means inner guidance. Guide or helper. We all have them. Everybody has them. This is true faith. Without these things, we don't have anything. This is faith in action. This is the physical meat and potatoes of faith. These are our guides. These things connect us to our homes, our spirit family, God. It's pretty hard to have faith without them because most religions they tell us the exoteric truth about what to believe, but. It's blind faith because most of us have never experienced anything of what they talk about. You need to experience the phenomenon. You need to go within. You need to find the esoteric truth. Because everything is within you. That is without you. Everything in the heavens is within you. 
They're telling us we have to wait another half a century to go to space with rockets and maybe we'll find aliens and then maybe we'll be an advanced civilization. But the truth is we've always known about aliens. We've always been connected to other worlds and we've always had the tools to do it. That's why they're illegal. That's why they're withheld from us. We don't have to look very far. Everything we need is within us. It's always been there. But we're so focused on the external. That's the problem. Distractions. Losing track. Entertainment. Entering holding the mind. All you have to do is let it go. Once you let it go. You let go of the blocks. The clogs. Unfilter. The channels open, the fog gates release. The heart activates. The heart connects to the channels. And then the kingdom of heaven descends. The heart's desires begin to manifest and unfold. And the rest is history. The main thing that they have is fearing is freedom. Everybody's afraid of freedom. Jim Morrison once said, expose yourself to your deepest, darkest fear. And then the fear of freedom shrinks and vanishes. We're all running, running from our fears, but our fears aren't real. Our fears are projected from our mind, and our thoughts are generated largely from a source that is not who we are. Which is why we have to pick, choose them wisely. Listen, reject, detach, and let them go because they're just splinters, fragments, projections that we don't need to adhere to. for now.